Hello again everyone, my name is Kobe Blue and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Now in the last episode we defeated Birkin, uh, just like in Leon's campaign. A little bit different, but with the twist we actually ran into a little girl named Sherry. We came up here, don't, we don't have the key card to get out, and we were greeted by a big dude that was, uh, I guess the police officer or something, because... Must be where that guy came from. Uh, he... Okay. Well, looks like we can't go here. Alright, well, yeah, we can't go here. But anyway, and took Sherry away. He took Sherry away, so... Okay. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right, it's police, police chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal cons uh, conservation. Uh, let us know if we've missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? Wait, uh, when asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just go uh, doing what I do for my family. Chief Irons said it with a soft smile. So, it's Chief Irons. Yes, the police chief? Corrupted police chief. Apparently he has ties with Umbrella because why would he need Cherry? Cherry is uh, the little girl Sherry is obviously has ties with uh, William Birkin, which is a big nasty boss monster, and the uh, hold on, let's open this real quick. I think it just goes to the car thing. And uh, Sherry Birkin and William Birkin and. I want to say, oh, Annette Birkin, that's, that's what it was. I can't remember the name of it. Right, is everything searched in here for? Yep. Wait, can I go this way? I don't think I can, no. Alright, let's go to the car over here and let's, you know, see what's in the trunk here. Uh, hopefully that didn't alert anybody. Mm. I'll take it. This is fine right here. Alright, I'll take the handgun, because... I mean, I don't have a lot of ammo for it. Okay, that's a liquor. I see you. Oh, God. They're in here. So I just realized. So I realized. Hold on, where's the map here? I realized. I just realized, like, I think we're gonna go back to like the main hall and stuff like that. Like here, but I just realized that we didn't get all. Of, we didn't get the buttons for this unless they come later. You see what I'm saying? I looked everywhere. I still have yet to get the jack for this. So I'm assuming we just go through here and we're just, you know, we're going to progress, a, we're going to progress differently through this. Okay, so that, you're still twitching, I don't like that. You're burnt, so. Um. So you're. 
your tongue was like huge. Okay, I don't hear any more in here, but that doesn't mean that there's not any in, in, in here. Uh -huh. Hello? I'm not gonna run. I guess they're eating the dogs. I guess they... Leon's already been through here. It looks like. And the Lickers came and were hunting the... Uh, the dogs. Okay, this is the same as before. I know that you're gonna pop up, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you. Damn. Yeah? You just gonna bounce like that? Alright. I don't have room for that, so that's just gonna stay there. Oh. Stay right there. Actually, hold on. Question is, do you have anything in there? You have a grenade. Uh, I'm alright with the grenade. It's, it's perfectly fine. But I do know we need to pull you out. At least you have, you have like a key or something. Actually, hold on. Is that, do I? I don't have a crank for that, so not yet, at least. Anyway. Also, I heard a liquor. Here, right? I hear it. Dead, right? All right, you took like two shots, two and a half shots. That's not. That's not. That's not all right. Oh, let me just silent my phone here. I know it's really rude of me to have it open. Or on notifications on. Okay, so there is a room in here. Here they come. I'm not gonna waste my flame rounds because I actually want to keep them for liquor in case I run into them. Is that it in here? There's an herb in here, but like I said, I don't really need it. Alright, well, let's go back. Uh, is that really it? 
I have a diamond key, but actually I think we have to go back. Can I go over here? No, it's red. Actually, hold on here for a second. Over there. Uh, the ambiance of this game is really, like the bangs and stuff like that, it's really terrifying. Keeps you, you know, on your toes. I can't throw it away just yet. What's that? For the GM? My inventory's full. Great. You know what? I'm gonna cut right here and then I'm gonna go deliver some stuff off and then, uh, yeah, make some room. So I'll be right back. All right, well, we're back. We are, I just dropped some stuff off and now we're gonna go ahead and we have, I have two spaces in here. So we're gonna have to grab this. This is for my, for that. Even less space now. I'll go ahead and pick this and put that in there to make it a little bit stronger. Give me some defense here. I have some uh, gunpowder. Let's go ahead and pull this. Oh, all right. Now, where does this go? I wonder. Looks like I'm going back to the... Oh. Alright. Bunch of taxidermies everywhere. Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use, to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must, William Bergen. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to and everything will be alright, William Bergen. Police Chief Irons, you're... You are to up the security around my lab. Your your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are, William Birkin. Wow. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and look at the thing here. Around. Okay. Taxidermy log. White-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old. Capture Rockley Mountains. Please, on how it turned out, I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe. Time may be time to move on from more challenge animals. Severian tiger. I nearly came. I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm guts spill out. It's, I still smell of wild beasts. This is life. Pig. This specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over. It's all mine now, forever. Okay. Well, that's. There's a wolf. There's. Okay, well, poor raccoon, dude. Poor rocket raccoon. I don't have the heart key for that, so I guess I'm gonna have to go this way. Oh, where's the tiger? Just wondering where it would be at. Okay. I'm just being very wary because it seems a little fishy here. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Mm. So I see the hey God. the key card. Okay. All right. Can't get in there. I have to have some fuses and stuff like that. This is a dodo. Okay. All right. So repair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something need something needs replacing. You'll need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores at the station to repair the door or repair the bell and the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong for you, wrong, or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to serving you again. Oh, great. Oh, oh. Thanks. Wait a minute. Aha! I knew that looked kind of kind of weird. Everything in here? Apparently not. All right, it's probably because I haven't unlocked that yet. I like machine gun ammo. <laughs> Thank, you. thanks. All right, well, we have this. So we can unlock this. See where this goes. Hello? Oh, so it ends up back over here. Okay. Uh, I have to load everything. I honestly think that's all the time that I have this episode. It was short and sweet, I think. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and just like do these like short and sweet and not that long I, I i honestly don't know what i'm gonna do to be honest with you it depends on how i feel and like if my schedule's not backed up or not but right now i feel like it's like time to um you know in the episode here we knew we ga ga gathered information on who this chief irons was and we this is his office he's some kind of creepy fuck that does these taxidermy bullshits we ended up getting the heart key, the diamond key, encountered liquors. I did a bunch in this episode, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want to check out my Resident Evil one playthrough, annotations on the screen, as well as Leon's campaign on this game as well, Resident Evil two, annotations on the screen. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.